In the following question, uh, the question reads that hydrogen bromide reacts with ethene to form bromoethane. So this is an example of electrophilic addition reaction. And the question is, what is the best description of the organic intermediate uh, of this reaction? So for this, we need to first uh, figure out uh, what would be the uh, reaction mechanism of HBr with ethene to form bromoethane. So I'm going to write down the reaction mechanism first. So this here is the reaction mechanism. You can see uh, an alkene ethene molecule specifically. There's a double bond, a pi electron cloud over here. These electrons, they're going to repel the electrons in the HBr molecule, this HBr bond. These electrons are going to get repelled, which will increase the partial negative charge on bromine because these electrons are going to be uh, closer or they would be repelled further towards bromine. The H would become partial positive. And this positive H will then get attracted to these electrons. So over here, you can see this H over here. It uh, took away the pi electron cloud and uh, bonded that pi electron cloud with itself because this was a positive H. Br became negative. So in the next step, the Br negative uh, goes in and then attaches to the positive carbon atom, uh, which was uh, positive because the electrons in the pi electron cloud, the double bond over here, were taken away by the hydrogen over here. So it became electron deficient and it became positive and Br negative would then go and uh, attach itself to this uh, positive carbocation. So this is my organic intermediate. Now option A is that it contains carbon, hydrogen and bromine. As you can see, there is no bromine. Bromine comes in in the next step. So the first option is incorrect. The second option is it has a negative charge, which is also incorrect because it, it has a positive charge. It's a carbocation. The third option, option C, is it is an electrophile. This option is correct because it is positively charged. Positive charged uh, substances, they get attracted to negative uh, electrons. So this, uh, this entire intermediate is going to be attracted to these negative electrons. Anything that's attracted to negative electrons, that is called an electrophile. So this statement is correct. So option C is going to be your correct option for this question. The last one is also incorrect. It is, it is a free radical. No, it, it doesn't have any, it, it is not having any unpaired electrons. Instead, it is electron deficient. So it's acting as an electrophile. It wants electrons. It's attracted to electrons and specifically it's attracted to electrons in the Br-1 ion.